Hello guys and welcome to a new video and today we have the most requested video on the channel which is the pumped class guide video For future viewers please make sure that this video is not too old because they keep changing classes so some info you see might not be the same after a few months Also this video might end up being too long so I'll add timestamps in the description and you can skip to the parts you want But I encourage you to watch all of it because some tips are connected to each other and I don't want you to be confused I really hope you guys find it useful Let's get started. So let's start with the class passive pump up. It provides you with an ugly looking jetpack that allows you to jump higher than normal. The jetpack uses nitrogen to function. And right here we have the nitrogen bar which starts decreasing as you jump. Once the nitrogen bar is empty, you need to wait until it fills up again. And keep in mind that sliding and jumping cancels the nitrogen regeneration. As for the class skill power jump, once activated it does two things. First of all, it increases the amount of nitrogen which allows you to jump higher. And second of all, it increases the regeneration speed of the nitrogen and that allows you to jump more frequently. Let's start with the most important tip and it's the reason why many players end up disliking this class and going back to their old classes, which is not knowing how to jump correctly. So what most players do and surprisingly I noticed even pro players make this mistake when they jump. They press and hold the jump button and this is wrong because not only it results in a very short jump but also a slow one, which is pretty much useless and makes you an easy target for the enemy. So the correct way to jump is to press the jump button multiple times as fast as you can. And by the way this is how I do it. I'm not sure if there are other ways but it's the one that gave me the highest jump possible and you'll see the crazy height I managed to reach using this method later on the video Moving on to another important topic which is what the upgrade does to the pumped class And I want to start by saying that you must prioritize upgrading pumped class as soon as possible Because it makes an insane difference So first of all it affects the cooldown Upgrading the class reduces the cooldown by 10 seconds Second of all, it affects the duration of the boost after activating the skill. So without an upgrade, the duration is 15 seconds. And after the upgrade, you get an extra 5 seconds and a total of 20 seconds boost duration. Next, it decreases the nitrogen bar regeneration time when you use the normal jump without activating the skill. But after you activate the skill, the time remains the same with and without an upgrade. Upgrading the class also affects the jump height and this is where things can be a little bit confusing So I need your full focus with me here because there are four things to consider So first of all, we'll check the maximum height we can get when jumping without the upgrade and without using the skill Now we'll test without the upgrade but with the skill activated Next, I tested the class after upgrading but without activating the skill. And finally, the full power test with the upgrade and with the skill activated. And you can see the insane height you can reach if you jump correctly. You can basically enter the top of this windmill through the window right here. And to make things easier for you, I'll put them side to side so you can see the difference clearly. Now we'll move on to another tip that many players are confused about which is how to open the wingsuit when you use this class. So when you have enough height to activate your wingsuit, a new button will show up right here. And you can just press it to activate the wingsuit. Now it's time to share some strategies and advantages that you can use with this class. And there are a lot of them, so bear with me as I go through them. The main advantage is obvious and pretty straightforward, which is the ability to gain high ground at all times. Everyone knows that by now, so there is no need to explain it and waste time. And instead, I'll be sharing and explaining some advanced strategies, starting with the most important one, which is the ability to use pumped class as a mini airborne. And there are two amazing tips regarding this tactic. 
In here, I was surrounded by a full sweaty squad and they were pushing together. So my chances of surviving were extremely low and I was forced to bail and switch position. Now if I jump and glide normally, I won't make it far and the enemy team will catch up on me and they will kill me. But with the help of pump class, you can cover more distance. So what you wanna do is activate the skill if you have it ready and if you don't, it's okay, you don't need it as long as you're on a high ground. But activating the skill will allow you to cover more distance. Next, run towards the edge of the building, then jump. So not only I managed to run away from the enemies but I also turned the situation from being a certain death to an easy wipe as I managed to split the enemy team apart allowing me to kill them one by one. The second secret advantage about this tactic is that you can use the skill again instantly after you land. And you can do that over and over again as long as you activate it instantly right after you land. Another extremely useful tip is when getting pushed by an enemy from the air. And what I like to do is first of all I pretend that I don't see them. That way they think I'm an easy target. But just before they land I fly right above their heads disappearing from their vision. And now basically I became the predator instead of the prey. After that, we have an advantage when using throwables like grenades or nova gas. So you can jump high to know the exact location of the enemies, especially the ones on high ground. And it allows you to aim a lot easier. Another advantage that's related to the previous one is scanning for enemies. The high jump allows you to see further and detect enemies around you. And it comes in clutch in the final circle, especially to detect snakes hiding in the grass. So you can easily mark the enemies for your team, that way you can plan your next move more efficiently. Moving on to the next tip which is using the pumped class to counter other classes Mainly the defender class which is considered one of the most annoying classes in the game So as soon as you get stunned you can fly and by the time you land the stun will be almost over And you will no longer be in a disadvantage You can also counter poltergeist enemies but this one requires higher IQ Because you need perfect timing So once you hear the alert that there is one nearby try to move around to bait them to shoot And once you hear the first bullet going off jump as high as possible And that will make them visible again which means you're no longer in a disadvantage That way you prevent them from having a head start over you I mean you'll most likely still take damage in the process but it will definitely be much less than usual the pumped class can also be a perfect counter to the hacker class. Obviously you won't be able to use your skill but you can still jump and fly without it. And finally you can counter sputter class by avoiding a lot of damage from the airstrike if you time your jump correctly. Because when you're in the air you won't be affected by the cluster grenade's damage. And again you will still get damaged but you can avoid most of it and escape certain death. Other than classes, you can also avoid getting run over by vehicles. And not only that, but you can also damage them in the process. Moreover, your chances of surviving against shotgun players are higher with this class. Because most of them struggle to aim at you when you're jumping. But keep in mind that a good shotgun player can still hit you and even one shot you midair. Next, we have the ability to heal and reload midair, which again increases your chances of surviving against multiple enemies. After that, I have another survival tactic when you're under fire like in this situation. First of all, you can jump without activating your skill. And while you're in midair, activate your skill and by the time you land, you will have enough nitrogen for a second jump. So not only you're dodging enemy bullets, but you can also buy time to heal up and then fight back.
Another small tip when you drop on enemies from high ground, press the jump button right before you hit the ground. This way you surprise them and you avoid fall damage at the same time. The final tip which also one of the reasons why most players fail to use this class efficiently and it's because they're not using enough fingers to play. Unlike other classes the pump class requires many actions at once like jumping and aiming and shooting and sometimes even scoping and you can't do that with two fingers you need at least four. I mean three fingers can be good but it won't give you the best result and it's also one of the reasons why I think this class isn't as overpowered as many players think because not everyone can use it. Unlike other classes this one actually requires skill to use. Gaining high ground alone isn't enough. Enemy down. Now that we're done with the advantages, let's move on to the disadvantages and the best way to counter the pump class. I explained this in one of my videos and it's the biggest mistake that players do when facing a pump class enemy. They wait for them to land and instead what you need to do is hit them in the air because they never expect that and as a result you're surprising them and ruining whatever plans they have in their head. So they will panic giving you even bigger advantage and by the time they land they will have low health and you can finish them off in split seconds. Just make sure you have enough mag size because you don't want to be stuck reloading when they land. Alternatively you can switch to your secondary gun if you run out on your main gun to finish them off. That's how I do it and I know some players might disagree with this as they find it hard to hit flying enemies. But if you do find it hard then I'm sorry to tell you that the pumped class isn't the issue. Your aim is the issue here and you need to improve it. Another disadvantage is the sound of the jetpack. It sounds like an airplane engine. It is so loud you can hear it being activated in Kill House all the way from Nuketown. This means that their position is always exposed and you can always know when they try to push you and the exact direction they're coming from so you can easily counter them. So unlike ninja enemies, pumped class enemies are much easier to deal with when you know their location at all times and you can simply avoid fighting them when they have high ground. It's like facing trap master enemies inside buildings. You know they have traps inside and you have the option to just ignore them and let them camp as long as they want. You can also check Narco's last video to give you more ideas on how to counter it as he explains it in more details and different scenarios. I'll leave a link to the video in the description. Another theory going around is that sliding before the jump allows you to jump higher but after testing I found out that it doesn't. As you saw previously, I was able to reach the maximum height standing still without the need to slide. However, it does help with one thing. Sliding before the jump makes it easier for you to reach maximum height compared to jumping without it. I think that was everything I have for you guys and I really do hope you find it useful. And if you do, then consider leaving a like and sharing it with your friends. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.